This story is a work of fiction. Similarities between characters or events to persons living or dead in your world are purely coincidental. Only those who have agreed to the above have the privilege of partaking in this game. The contract has been sealed. The world is not as it should be. It's filled with distortion, and ruin can no longer be avoided. Those who oppose fate and desire change. From time to time, they were referred to as tricksters. You are the trickster. Now is the time to rise against the abyss of distortion.
good. Now get running! This is our only chance! Stay calm! You can get away now! We'll retrieve the briefcase on our end. What was that? Don't worry about us. Just concentrate on getting away. But I have to say, showing yourself above that crowd earlier was an excellent move. Nice work as always, Joker. I <laughs> bet Skull wouldn't pull it off that smoothly. This happens because you have no sense for aesthetics.
Guess the drug was too strong. Wake him up. No dozing off. Still don't get it. Give it up! Come on, cooperate. What? You want another shot? about the camera? Are you thinking it can be used as video evidence? You still haven't figured it out? There are no laws here that will protect criminals like you! Destruction of justice, blackmail, defamation, possession of weapons. Manslaughter too, yeah? Talk about the works. To think that all those crimes were led by a punk like this. You seem to be enjoying every second of it, huh? You should know your place. Sign here. It's a confession under your name. Don't expect to walk out of here in one piece. We are going to make you understand. One must take full responsibility for their actions. Excuse me, but this area is off. I'm Nijima from the Public Prosecutor's Office. The Prosecutor's Office? What business do you have here? Just let me through. It's urgent. There's something I need to confirm with the suspect. 
Nijima-san, I believe this case is no longer in your jurisdiction. Besides... You prosecutor sign Nijima? There's a call from your director. Hurry and get it over with. To be frank, you're being an inconvenience. Ah, I thought I ordered you to stand by. I'm responsible for this case, yet I'm not even being allowed an interrogation? I'm calling because I knew you'd bring it up. I will not be convinced unless I confirm it for myself. This is my case. Uh, good luck to you then. I won't be expecting much though. Uh, Prosecutor, I forgot to mention something important. Your time will be cut short. We can't permit you to talk with him for long. It's for your own sake. His methods are unknown. After all, we don't even know if it's safe to simply meet and speak. I understand. I didn't expect it'd be you. You'll be answering my questions this time. Can you hear me? It seems you've been through a lot. Almost anything can happen here. And I can't stop them. That's why I need you to answer me honestly. I don't have much time either. What was your objective? Why did you cause such a major incident? I didn't think it was a prank from the get-go, but I couldn't assemble a case for prosecution. It's because I couldn't figure out the method behind it. True. There's no way I could be convinced of such a world just by reading the reports. It seems you're coherent. When and where did you find out about that world? How is it even possible to steal another's heart? Now, tell me your account of everything. Start from the very beginning.
The citizens can't live in peace if this keeps up. Oh, how frightening. What could be going on? Didn't something similar happen just the other day? Hmm. Vertical is the name of a shellfish used for farming pearls. Oh. They did say that was... Well, we'll be going now. The... Thanks for coming. Uh, this place is in the back alley, so there's no worries of a car crashing. A what now? There's been a string of those rampage accidents, you know. I just hope... It's none of my concern. Just a single cup of joe. So, you're the guy. Yeah. I'm Sojiro Sakura. You'll be in my custody over the next year. I was wondering what kind of unruly kid would show up. You're the one, huh? Have you been told? A customer of mine and your parents know each other, and... Well, not that that matters. Follow me. This is your room. I'll at least give you sheets for your bed. You look like you want to say something. It's on you to clean up the rest. I'll be leaving after I lock up each day. You'll be alone at night, but don't do anything stupid. I'll throw you out if you cause any trouble. Now then. I got the gist of your situation. You protected some woman from a man forcing himself on her. He got injured, then sued you, right? That's what you get for sticking your nose in a matter between two adults. You did injure him, yeah? And now that you've got a criminal record, you were expelled from your high school. The courts ordered you to transfer and move out here, which your parents also approved. In other words, they got rid of you for being a pain in the ass. It's best you not talk about anything unnecessary. I am in the restaurant business, you know. Behave yourself for the year. If nothing happens, your probation will be lifted. Really now? It's the... Your sentence lasts until next spring, right? That's why you're gonna be here for the coming year. Cause any problems and you'll be sent straight to Juvie. We'll be going to Shujin tomorrow. Shujin Academy. The school you'll be attending. We'll introduce ourselves properly to the staff there. There's rarely a place to accept someone like you, you know? What a waste of my Sunday. Your luggage arrived earlier. I left them over there.
Seriously. You think you're worth causing? I'll... I'll call the police! <laughs> the police are my bitches. They're not gonna take you seriously. Get in the car! Incompetent fools like you just need to shut your mouths and follow where I steer this country. What are you looking at? Get out of my face! This ain't a show. Get lost! See? This is all because you're so damn slow. Get in the car!
So you've come too, inmate. The you in reality is currently fast asleep. You are only experiencing this as a dream. You're in the presence of our master. Stand up straight! Welcome. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. It is a room that only those who are bound by a contract may enter. I am Igor, the master of this place. Remember it well. I summoned you to speak of important matters. It involves your life as well. Still, this is a surprise. The state of this room reflects the state of your own heart. To think a prison would appear as such. You truly are a prisoner of fate. In the near future, there is no mistake that ruin awaits you. I speak of the end to everything. However, there is a means to oppose such a fate. You must be rehabilitated. Rehabilitated toward freedom. That is your only means to avoid ruin. Do you have the resolve to challenge the distortion of the world? You didn't decline, hmm. Very well, that is enough. Allow me to observe the path of your rehabilitation. Ah, pardon me for not introducing the others. To your right is Caroline. To your left, Justine. They serve as wardens here. Ha! Try and struggle as hard as you like! The duty of wardens is to protect inmates. We are also your collaborators. That is, if you remain obedient. I shall explain the roles of these two at another occasion. Now then, it seems the night is waning. It is almost time. Take your time to slowly come to understand this place. We will surely meet again, eventually. Time's up! Oh. Now hurry up and go back to sleep!
Hey. Well. Jeez. Do me a favor and behave yourself. Don't get me wrong. I don't care what happens to you. Just don't cause me any trouble. To reiterate, just so we're clear, you will immediately be expelled if you cause any problems. Honestly, I hesitated on accepting someone like you. But there were... You might have done a variety of things in hiding in your hometown, but you will behave yourself. If you are thrown out from our school, there will be no place for you to go. Keep that in mind. This is the teacher in charge of your class. I'm Sadayo Kawakami. Here's your student ID. Be sure to read the school rules. Any violations will send you straight to the guidance office. And if by chance you cause any problems, I won't be able to protect you at all. That is your promise, yes, Principal Kobayaka? Mm-hmm. He is responsible for all his actions. But really, though, why me? There should have been better candidates. Was a sudden if you're done explaining things mind if we get going I got a store to get back to Sakura son please keep a close eye on him. don't let him cause any trouble well I'll be sure to have a serious talk about Come to the faculty office when you arrive at school tomorrow. I'll show you to your classroom. Hey. What a troublesome situation. I can't believe they pushed someone with a record on me. Male teacher? Why in the world was someone like that admitted here? Who knows? It was the principal's decision. I was told that it's for the school's reputation. 
I would have thought that my volleyball team has contributed more than... That's certainly true. Be careful, okay? Then again, if anything were to happen, I'd kick out a student like that. Well, I keep wishing that he'd just end up not coming to school. Still, that isn't something I should be saying as a teacher. Well, I should be returning to prime. Oh, right. The tournament's coming up, isn't it? <laughs> Having such high expectations placed on you by others is quite a... We'll have to work hard to make up for the track team, too. Ooh.